let's learn about a cylinder okay what is a cylinder cylinder is the surface generated by locus of straight lines which are parallel to a fixed straight line and intersect a curve or touch a surface okay a cone was the surface generated by locus of straight lines which were intersecting a fixed point cylinder is locus of straight lines which are parallel to fixed straight line okay and the other condition is that it must intersect a curve or touch a surface okay so let's see what a cylinder is so let's suppose i have a curve okay then it is the locus of straight lines which are parallel to a fixed straight line okay let's suppose i have a fixed straight line in a plane which is different from this curve then the locus of straight lines which are parallel to this would be like this these straight lines they intersect this curve okay so this is essentially a cylinder okay as you can see this surface that i have got is a cylindrical surface okay your cylinder does not necessarily have to be like this okay it depends on the curve on the basis of which you are drawing the cylinder okay so the convention is same this curve is known as the guiding curve and these straight lines are known as the generators okay let's find out the equation of a cylinder whose guiding curve is quadratic in x and y and whose fixed line has direction cosines l m and n okay so the guiding curve is essentially a conic given by this equation in x y plane which is z is equal to 0 and the fixed line is having direction cosines l m and n okay i know my cylinder is locus of lines which are parallel to this fixed line okay so let's just suppose that i have x1 y1 z1 as a point that lies on cylinder okay it's just a arbitrary point that i am assuming lies on this cylinder so i know a point i know my lines are parallel to this therefore my lines are going to be having equation x minus x1 upon l equal to y minus y1 upon m equal to z minus z1 upon n okay now a point x on such a line is let's say this is equal to k then my point x on such a line is going to be lk plus x1 y is going to be mk plus y1 and z is going to be nk plus z1 now i must have points which are common between this guy which is the curve and also this plane okay since my lines intersect this curve which is in this plane i must have points which are common between the line between the curve and between the plane therefore z is equal to 0 must be satisfied by this point okay so what i have is nk plus z1 equal to 0 which tells me that k is equal to minus z1 upon n okay and my x is therefore going to be l into k which is minus l into z1 by n plus x1 and my y is going to be m into k which is m into this guy which is m into or rather minus m into z1 upon n plus y1 okay now we've already seen that we have point common between the line between the curve and this so 
my x and y also should be satisfying this particular curve okay so let me just whoops let me just copy this curve and then we are going to substitute x and y over here so what i get is a into x1 minus l z1 upon n the whole square plus b into y1 minus m z1 upon n the whole square plus 2h into x which is x1 minus l z1 by n and then i have y which is y1 minus m z1 by n okay then i have 2 gx so i have 2g into x1 minus l z1 by n and i have 2fy so i have 2f into y1 minus m z1 by n plus a constant equal to 0 this is essentially the equation of x1 y1 z1 okay so the equation of locus of x1 y1 z1 is going to be when you replace x1 y1 z1 with x y z so your equation that you get is a into x minus lz by n square plus b into y minus mz by n square plus 2h into x minus lz by n into y minus oops mz by n plus 2g x minus lz by n plus 2f y minus mz by n plus c equal to 0 and this is the equation of the required cylinder you can simplify this further multiply throughout by n square okay you have a n square present over here you have a n square present over here you have a n square present in this term also and you have n present over here so just multiply throughout by n square what you're going to get is a into nx minus lz whole square plus b into ny minus mz whole square plus 2 into h nx minus lz ny minus mz plus you only have n present in this term okay so it's going to be 2 into n into g nx minus lz similarly there is only single n in this term so it's going to be 2 into n into f ny minus mz plus there is no n over here so it's going to be n square c equal to 0 so this is a general equation of a curve which is this curve in xy plane and having the fixed line as or rather having direction cosines of fixed line as l m and n okay so this is the general equation of such a cylinder so we know how to find out the equation of a cylinder when we are given the direction cosines of the fixed line and the curve or the guiding curve so let's take up a question and try to get the equation of a cylinder with generators parallel to x axis okay and passing through the curve given by intersection of this solid and this plane okay so my fixed line is the x axis okay my generators are parallel to x axis so my fixed line is x axis and i know my direction cosines of x axis are 1 comma 0 comma 0 okay because all the points on x axis are like a comma 0 comma 
so my any point x1 y1 z1 which is on the cylinder i can get the equation for the line which passes through this point or essentially i can get the equation of a generator okay so the equation of a generator given that x1 y1 z1 is any point on the cylinder is x minus x1 upon 1 equal to y minus y1 upon 0 is equal to z minus z1 upon 0 okay let's just suppose that this is equal to k then i have x as equal to k plus x1 i have y as equal to y1 and i have z as equal to z1 now i know my generator intersects the curve as well as the plane okay so must so i must have points common between my generator and this plane and this curve so this point must satisfy this plane okay so what i get is l into k plus x1 plus m into y1 plus n into z1 is equal to p okay now i can get my k i have l x1 plus m y1 plus nz1 minus p is equal to lk okay or my k is equal to this upon l okay or rather since lk goes to the other side you have k equal to minus of this thing okay it's going to be equal to minus of this upon l now my x is equal to k plus x1 therefore what i have is x is going to be k which is minus of lx1 plus my1 plus nz1 minus p upon l plus x1 okay so if you're going to multiply this with x1 what you get is this is equal to minus lx1 minus my1 minus nz1 plus p plus lx1 upon l okay so this and this gets cancelled so essentially what you have is this okay your x is equal to this okay now since i have common point of intersections between my generators between my solid and my plane my x y z should also satisfy this solid okay so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here my x y z should satisfy this equation therefore what i have is a into x square which is p minus m y 1 minus n z 1 the whole square upon l square plus b into y square what is y square y is y 1 z is z 1 okay so plus b into y 1 square plus c into z 1 square is equal to 1 now this is uh, equation in x1 y1 z1 the equation for the locus of x1 y1 z1 would be when you replace x1 y1 z1 with x y z so essentially your equation is multiply throughout by l square and replace x1 y1 z1 with x y z you're going to get a into p minus m y minus n z whole square plus l square into b y square plus l square into c z square is equal to l square okay this is the equation of the cylinder that we desire okay 
just realize one thing over here this equation does not have any terms in x okay you have a y you have a z you have a y you have a z but you do not have x so in general whenever your generators are parallel to x axis your equation of the cylinder won't have any x terms okay similarly if your generators are parallel to y axis there won't be any y terms and if your generator is parallel to z axis there won't be any z terms okay now let's learn about a right circular cylinder it is a cylinder in which the generators are at constant distance from a fixed line okay the guiding curve in this case is a circle okay and your generators are at constant distance from the fixed line which goes through the center of this circle and your cylinder is all the lines which are parallel to the fixed line so this is your cylinder okay and you're going to have lines over here as well so this is the right circular cylinder in which all the generators are at a fixed distance from the fixed line okay or at a constant distance from the fixed line all the generators are at a distance of the radius of this guiding circle okay so this is a right circular cylinder just like the cylinder that we have learned in school okay so over here this fixed line is the axis of your cylinder and this fixed distance is the radius of your cylinder okay it is the radius of the cylinder just like earlier when we talked about a right circular cone this fixed angle was the semi vertical angle and this line was the axis so just similar to that concept we have this fixed distance as radius of the cylinder and this is the axis of the cylinder okay